Hey folks, this is IOE Thrower back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Ronak in his T-34-3. He is platooned up with Ash, also in the T-34-3. And this is a Tier 9 game on Empire's Border. So, uh, before we get into the battle too far, I do want to say, uh, now over in Discord, there's a new program going up. I'm not going to be able to record World Tanks games every day obviously for the past month or two, or two I've, I've been like stuttering with it uh, technical difficulties and everything else and just horrible things going on but anyways also in that time I came to the decision that I don't want to be recording World Tanks games every day anymore um, or even every other day uh, probably going to do it twice a week um, probably just for Saturday and Sunday and the rest of the week I don't know what I'm going to do we'll see might not put up videos might not have time um, we'll see. But, for everybody who... I, I still want everybody's videos being seen. So, I'm going to open it up to anybody in Discord who wants to uh, be a YouTuber, who wants to record videos, or... Um, we're going to pause here before the action has, happens. Um, if you want to record videos, uh, you want to be a YouTuber, all that stuff, just send me a message in Discord. I will label you as a YouTuber in Discord, in my Discord. And then you guys can go ahead and cruise through the games and grab games yourself. And that way everybody's games get to show up somewhere. And I'm going to have a, a whole channel for people, YouTubers, dropping links to videos they made. So that you can find where your video is, where your game is on, on you know, on the internet. Then you can go there and that way uh, hopefully the YouTubers who are part of the community grow as, as the community gets to see them more and more. And they get access to, to more games, more games that they have currently, and everybody's games get seen. So hopefully this works great to uplift the entire community and make everybody better. Um, whereas I'm only going to be able to do a couple games per week, because World Tanks is starting to drive me a little crazy. I just, I'm not into it as much anymore. But I still want to do it, because A, that's what the channel is based on, and B, it's still a game I love. So... Without further ado, let's get into the game, and we'll talk a bit more about that at the end. Um, yeah. I'm still having audio issues, by the way, if you're wondering why the audio sounds a little weird in my last video. I don't know how to fix that. Um, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I might have to get a new mic. Um, and that's just not going to happen right now, so yeah. Nice shot into the enemy T434. 100 t44 100 sorry um though i guess we traded about half as much damage back or twice as much damage back to him so i mean it's a, it's a worthwhile trade we'll definitely take that you can see ash doing some work over there as well and he's got our flank so we no, no longer have to worry about that that is a um t26 e5 there looking at us as soon as he fires uh, Ronak can jump up and put a shot into him. We can see him looking at our tracks there. Centurion overextending gets himself tracked in the open. He should be shooting at us. I don't know what he's actually shooting at. Looks like he's shooting at our v uh, T26E5. And we're just going to go ahead and take him out of there. Ooh, he does get a shot into us though. Um, but that's okay. I mean, he died. We got a ton of damage in on him. He, he dealt. 240 back to us, so I mean, whatever, right? No, we shot the rock! Ronak didn't pull out far enough before he got, he, he fired, and thus we shot the rock instead of shooting the Centurion. We had a brief window to, to take the shot there, and unfortunately, Ronak flubbed it! How often does Ronak flub things? Somebody should clip that and uh, <laughs> put it on a loop, because that never happens. Oh, hello. You're just going to sit there with your capoe exposed. Unfortunately, we missed. I mean, it. I would have taken that shot too. Unfortunately, it looks like the gun just didn't want to cooperate and that shot went into the rock. But, or the rock could have an expanded uh, hitbox. So we may have, you know, fired the shot true. But because the rock may be bigger than it looks like it is, maybe we hit the rock on it. Centurion 1 coming out again, not remembering over here, and there goes a tracking shot. 
Now can re... Oh, no. Repair kit. Okay, cool. And apparently he just doesn't... He, he wants to get himself shot. He's coming around the corner with his gun pointed the wrong way. I mean, what else are we going to do? Ronic He's going to jump out here. Looks like he was going for the T26. Uh, now he's changed his mind. Has this, is the Centurion going to back up front of I don't think it is, to be honest. But if he pokes again, then we have him. Because last we saw, his health was sub 400. He got spotted by proximity. That is unfortunate. That means that, that uh, everybody's going to know where our gun is facing. T26 is worried about something behind him. He's not really worried about something ahead of him. Centurion is, again, worried about stuff behind him. Um, as our team tries to push around the rock. Ash is still over there somewhere doing something. Oh, he's actually pushed all the way around the rock. Ah, yes, he's down here with the push. Which is maybe what the enemy is afraid of. Mm, yep, got out, shot the enemy, did not get shot in return. That's how you really want to do it. You want to wait till the enemy's not looking at you, until they just fired their gun, pop out, shoot him, run away again. Centurion trying to catch us, not going to do it. In fact, he's going to get himself caught. No! Oh, uh, we can roll 456 damage, but that shot had to be 354 and leave the guy on three health. Of course it did, right? That's how that just has to go. Because that gun is still in the game, we can't harass the T26 like we want to. Veronica obviously wants to be out here just harassing the T26 every time he gets it. But there's no no chance while the uh, Centurion's alive. Thankfully, the Centurion walks back out and we are able to take him out. That is going to give us a lot more freedom of movement. With the Centurion gun, we're, we're just going to be ready to poke every time this guy fires. He fires, we're just going to go ahead and bounce a shot off of him. <laughs> I have to feel like putting together a few of Runex flubs all in a row and see how, how many we get. But so far, we only got two in this whole game, so... Um, I don't, I don't think, I think it's going to be a while before we, that anybody sees the, you know, that video. That video sees the light of day kind of thing. Uh, T-49 just running away. I'm not even going to take a shot at A because we're not loaded. And, you know, when your gun fires straight, it's really, really helpful. Uh, when it doesn't, though, you tend to miss kills. Uh, nobody else around us. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Because it's going to be some time before we re-engage the enemy. That Pajetto is not going to live too much longer. Um, my wife and daughter just arrived home. Oh, we come across the AMX-39 who's trying to come up behind us so he can get some kills. If he'd been there two minutes sooner, actually, he would have been a really horrible thing to face. Uh, we would have been behind that rock. We would have been just like in the worst case scenario, and he would have probably unloaded most of the clip on us. I don't think he would have killed us, but he would have done some serious, serious damage. But unfortunately, his timing was not pristine, and he got there late. Um, so we're going to speed this up again, because we're not going to find a contact for a little bit. Uh, right about here is the first time we're going to have the potential to find a contact. We push these trees over. Nobody waiting for us? That's a serious oversight on the enemy's part. There is trees all along here you can be set up with anybody be able to see you. Um, if you're in that spot, then anybody coming through here is just a fat sitting target. But the enemy isn't sitting here waiting. So, that's a mistake on their end. Um, yeah, he wants to know where the STRB is before he pushes forward. Ash, unfortunately, at some point died. I didn't even notice when Ash died. Um, so he needs our STRB to get up there. Or he needs their tank destroyers to be spotted. One of the two... Um, um, is my wife is looking for something around the room and hasn't found it yet. We're going to speed this up because Ronick's going to be waiting for a little bit of time. And that breeze from the nice open door is nice, but oh well. There we go. We have the SGR with us. And we are off into the battle. Six minutes left in the game. CRV is doing something. I'm kind of wondering what. Oh, there's the enemy SCRV. 
not paying attention. No! Unfortunately, he does rotate fast enough, though. And we both bounce a shot off each other. Um, looking for the Lord Voice. He's not going to find it. Does find the side of the tank and put a shot through it. T-30 actually is sitting in a decent position. Unfortunately, he wasn't pushed up far enough to catch us coming through that archway, which is really where he wanted to catch us because now we're into their back line, more or less. Um, and he's going to have a lot harder time hitting us from here. No, the SCRV, unfortunately, just like knew he was in a bad spot and pulled pull for it if he hadn't done that. T-30 is AFK. Is that what's going on? Yeah, T-30 looks to be AFK. Oh, yeah, taking out the STRV, putting a shot into the commander's cola, and now he's looking for the shot on T-49. Doesn't want to come inside onto it, though. That would be disastrous. Does actually roll outside onto it when he... What, the first day the guy was looking the other way? Is that... Is that what that was? Our STRV is taking the time to farm the AFK T-30. So I think Ronek's gonna get the final whack at him. As he aims for the lower glaces and does the last 64 damage. Waiting to make sure he does in fact get the top gun. He's not gonna get the kill on the uh, WT. Unless he, of course he does. I didn't realize it was only a T-30 left over there. And, uh, yeah, that is seven kills, and uh, he's got to be pushing up towards his third mark of excellence at this point in time. Also, altogether, the fact that we only got shot twice in this game is not bad. This is a well-played game, and, uh, as always, Ronick, only two flubs in the entire game. Like, I mean, that's that's pretty good. You can do that. You're, you're, you're on a roll right there. Um, we're going to go ahead and hopefully jump over to the battle report if this works. If it doesn't... I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a second, hopefully. So, Mastery, Ace Tanker, uh, Bruiser, Fire for Effect, 34 bonds that time around. Uh, 179,000 credits. Yeah, he made a profit on this one. He also got a Nicole's Medal for four enemy tanks or tanks or triers, uh that are at least one tier higher than you. And, wait, what? One tier higher. Oh, this is a tier 8 tank. Duh. I'm here sitting here thinking it's a tier 9 battle. Of course he's in a tier... No, it's it's a tier 8 tank, obviously. Which is why when we killed a bunch of tier 9s, we uh, we killed a bunch of tier 9s. Well, actually, we killed four. That's not the point. Uh, high caliber and top gun does, in fact, so much ahead of the rest of the team. Good lord. 700 experience over and above everyone else on the team, including... Our very own platoon mate, Ash. Wow, well done, sir. I guess I can actually look at this screen instead of that screen, and hopefully this look, looks like I made any more eye contact, but it's a little hard to read. So, I, it, it also feels like I'm I'm moving the mouse backwards to try and get it to go forwards, so wow, look at that. That was awesome. Uh, well done, sir. Thank you so much for saying this, in. Um And hopefully, from now on, There'll be more videos going out just over a bunch of different channels instead of just my own as I'll be talking to other YouTubers about the fact that I'm just going to be uh, collating um, or like gathering recordings and then they'll go out to different folks. So hopefully that will start to get everybody's re uh, replay seen as well as um, just more coverage, better coverage and more videos is, is the end goal more Something, I don't know. My mind is shot, and I've forgotten what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This is IOE Throughout.